salute, salute, salute to God the Most High, and you know, salute to God for always showing up at the right time. Salute to God for always being our own time God. You understand what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? I'm gonna skip this intro, but y'all gonna get this one time. Yeah, y'all gonna get it one time. That's right, I say one time. That's one time for everybody, man. But right now, I just really got to lift up the G-O-D. Man, how many times do God have to prove himself? How many times does it take God sparing Donald Trump's life for y'all to realize that this man has a guardian angel? As much as you hate him, you have been taught to hate him, but God can't hate him the way y'all hate him because God continues to save him. Think about this. Again, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now at 11, that breaking news, the second apparent attempt on the life for former President Donald Trump. Tonight, a man is in custody after shots were fired at Trump's golf course in West Palm Beach, Florida. Immediately after the shooting, he was rushed to safety. The former president released a news statement just within the past couple of hours thanking the Secret Service. We have team coverage of every angle of the story. And we want to start with our own Conan Nolan joining us here in the studio. Conan. That's right. Well, the former president was taking the day off from the campaign trail following last week's West Coast swing. He had no events on his public schedule. But when he decided to go golfing, waiting for him once again was a man intending to take his life. Former President Donald Trump's motorcade returning to his Mar-a-Lago estate. The president unhurt following another attempt at his life, the second in just over two months. The incident taking place while Mr. Trump was golfing at his course in West Palm Beach, Florida. A Secret Service agent spotted the barrel of a gun pointing out of the shrubbery and toward the 45th president. The agent firing at least four rounds at the would-be assassin. They have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. The course property line borders several public thoroughfares. A witness reported seeing someone run out of the bushes and into a car. That witness then snapped a photograph. Sheriff's deputies then tracked <coughs> the license plate and quickly stopped this black Nissan. We pinched in the car, got it safely stopped, and uh, got the driver in custody. NBC News, citing three senior law enforcement officials, has identified the gunman as 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Routh, recently of North Carolina and Hawaii. Routh has had numerous run-ins with the law, including a conviction two years ago of owning a machine gun. In the bushes where this guy was is an AK-47 style rifle with a scope, two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro. Authorities say the gunman was approximately 300 to 500 yards away from the former president. The FBI has not said if he had fired his weapon before he fled. The incident takes place days after the former president held a press conference at his golf course in Rancho Palos Verdes, where he was flanked by Secret Service snipers. <clears throat> Today's incident raises new questions about securing the former president and Republican nominee. The Secret Service faced sharp criticism after former President Trump survived an attempted assassination at a Pennsylvania rally in July. The man, listen, man. Listen, man. People say they want the truth, and people say they want change, but some of their actions aren't reflecting this. Now, I don't wish violence on anyone, but apparently this world and this media does. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you mean to tell me there's some weak-minded Americans out here who feel like it's their civic duty, their civil duty, to go out here and try to take out a president, a, a former president? Are you kidding me? Someone has convinced you to hate someone that much that you would jeopardize your livelihood, your life, your future, your children, nephews, nieces, whatever. <clears throat> to be the dummy to pull this off. And what they didn't say is this guy was dun 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 a Democrat. Every time. Both guys have been a Democrat. And they still figure that there's one on the loose. 
they figure he had help. Okay? There's one on the loose. I don't know. That's just what I've been hearing. That's an alleged. So we have to wait and see as, you know, developments come forward here in the media. But, A, how did he know Trump was there golfing? Again, this sounds like an inside job. You're just not going to be driving along a major highway and run through some bushes that's parallel to Mira Largo, the, 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 the golf course. Oh, look, Trump's out there. Let me try today. No, it seems like someone is getting some, some insight, man. Definitely seems like an inside job. This is definitely the work of the media. This is definitely because of what happened with the debate. You know, they're putting moderators on them. They're putting impeachments on them. They're, they're, they're putting charges on him, indictments on him. They're, they're trying to drain him financially. They're taking shots at him. Man, this man is starting to look more and more like Tupac, man. It's just Trump against the world. It is Trump against the world. And this man looks tougher and tougher and tougher every time. He looks more ready and ready and ready for the job every time. I wouldn't doubt if it was some kind of foreign leader somewhere in on this with the Democratic Party allegedly trying to take this man out. Because they do fear Trump. If they fear Trump, I welcome Trump. And before I get stuck with tampons and, and boys' bathrooms and all of this other nonsense, you know, and, and people, you know, I don't even want to get into that because it's a disgusting topic, but... <clears throat> Before I deal with all this other craziness, all this other craziness, I'd rather see Trump back. I'd rather see Trump back. We didn't have to worry about all of this crazy stuff they're doing now. Trump focused on really what really mattered. He was a people first, America first, country first type president. And we have not had that in forever. We have not had that. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> This is terrible, man. This is terrible. So we are in 2024. We are taking shots at former presidents. At former presidents. But ain't nobody even shot a bird at Kamala, Kamala Emhoff. Y'all might know her as Kamala Harris, but we're going to use her married name. Her husband's last name is Emhoff. She's married. Her last name is Emhoff. I told y'all she had an uh, 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 identity problem. Identity crisis problem going on. She don't even know who she is. Kamala Imhoff. Anybody even shot a middle finger at her? And they done shot, tried to shoot Trump twice? She done been in politics and office way longer than Trump. What has she done? She's been vice president for three and a half years. What has she done? Honestly, what has she done? But think back, man. Think back on the economy we had. Think think back on how low gas was when Trump was in office. How there was no wars going on. <clears throat> how no one had to fend for food. There was less veterans out here on the on the streets, homeless and hungry and sick. There was less storage units and more homes being built. There was more warehouses being built than car washes, ladies and gentlemen. And these were American jobs. America was thriving. Why are they after this man? Are we serious right now? Y'all are taking shots again at a former president two months later? Listen, I don't mean anything by this, and, and, and I rebuke it, and I hope it doesn't happen, but at this rate, if they just did this two months apart, then you better believe in November. They, it, you know, they, I don't want to finish my statement, but you could put two and two together. If it happens every two months, and we're just now in September, and the election is in November, I really hope they have tight security. Shout out to Secret Service. You know, this had to be an inside job. And yes, he was a Democrat, ladies and gentlemen. They continue to take shots at Trump. I need y'all to come up with some more memes. I need y'all to really... Man, I'm waiting to see... Man, 
man, we got to we got to put Trump on 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 on, on what was it, Fifty Cent again? Many men. Yeah, we got to bring that one back. We got to bring that one back. You know what I'm saying? I, I need to hear Trump rapping on a two-part trap. It's just Trump against the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, me against the world. Trump is, man, listen, man. Y'all are handing this man the keys to the White House. My only fear is, if they're taking these type of shots now publicly, if he does win, please be on the inside behind locked doors and, and you know, have metal detectors around and, you know, really increase the security. Don't try this outside if you win, Trump. Trump, at this point, I'm scared for you, homie. I'm scared for you. Trump, please, please, please call up 50 Cent. Get you one of his bulletproof Teflon vests. Go get you a RoboCop helmet. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 man, you, you, you just need to protect yourself, man. You need to walk around like the Tin Man. You need to walk around with armor at all times. But you're walking around the best armor already. Ephesians 6.10, put on the full armor of God. And it seems like the full armor of God is what's protecting this man from all that is evil. From all that is evil. Y'all got the wrong one. And God is showing you. He's sparing this man. Sparing this man. Sparing this man. Each and every time, each and every time, when the devil come against you, the father will protect you. The father is protecting him. He is the only one talking about God. He is the only one talking about Jesus. And he's the only one that will tell you that he's not Christian. But he believes, man, this is not the same Donald Trump y'all was used to. This is a new Donald Trump right here. This is a humble Donald Trump. This Donald Trump right here will make a change, will make a difference. But it starts with us, man. It starts with us. Y'all got to stop watching this fake news. Y'all are going to let the media tell y'all that no one of a... I don't even want to put the origin out there, but y'all are going to let someone tell y'all that someone didn't eat, did not eat a cat. When it's out there on video, the police footage, the body cam, all of that is out there. You can see the blood all over the girl's mouth. You can see the cat in the distance where they had to blur it out. You can hear the neighbor say, yeah, we saw them. Eat. Come on, man. Come on, man. And y'all, oh, he's lying about Haitian immigrants. It don't matter about who the immigrants are. The reason people are bringing this up because you're bringing people inside the country and you're not teaching them the American way. So they're bringing their way of living inside of a country that, that they're not familiar with, that lives a whole different way. So if you're going to bring them here, train them. When you bring a pet in your house, don't you train that pet? Don't you train that pet? Or do you just let them run free? The problem is not illegal immigration. The problem is you're bringing them here and you're not teaching them the American way, the American culture. No one's teaching them. We have to wake up as Americans and go to school and learn the American way. They grow up wherever they grow up from, get released wherever they get released from, cross the border, they here, and they just find their way. So they will find their way right to one of your pets. <clears throat> Believe it or not, it is happening. When I was young, we had a Haitian family living across the street from us who ate our dog. Left the collar there, left the chain there, left the dog house there. But our dog was being skinned on their grill right in front of us across the street. Mother Earth, am I lying? Mother Earth? No, you're not lying. Didn't that, didn't that happen, Mother Earth? Yes, it did. Okay, so this stuff is not brand new. This stuff is not brand new. And again, this isn't an attack on Haitian immigrants or any other type of immigrants, you know. Someone has, to, I, teach, someone has to teach them the American way. Can I say something, son? Yes, ma'am. We woke up that morning, and I was putting clothes on the line, and we were looking for the dog. And I called my children. I said, come here, babies. Come here. Come here. I said, y'all looking for the dog? I pointed across the street. I said, there your dog is right there. They cooking him. Mm-hmm. There he is right there. And from that point, 
to this day, we know that they eat dogs. Yes. Okay. And we have, we have experienced it, so this is not an alleged. We have lived it. I want to verify that for you. Thank yes. you. Thank you, mm -hmm. because I wouldn't want no one to think that I'm getting on here, you know, with some type of hate speech or down it. No, it really happened. It really it happened. It happened. Right okay. over there in Palmetto. Yes, ma'am. Right up by the walking bridge, right? Yeah. Yep. Right. Apartment right. 305. I remember that apartment. 302. 302. 302. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Oh. That, that, it ain't nothing like looking across the street over at your neighbor's grill and seeing your dog skin laying there on the grill, man. Yeah. They yeah. came and got our dog right from under our nose, left the collar there, the chain, that little makeshift dog house we built. You know, mm -hmm. come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. You can't tell me these things don't happen because we have lived it and seen it. Yes, yes, okay. we have. Listen, prayers to Donald Trump and family, you know, salute to the Secret Service, men and women. And man, we got to really make this country great again, man. This is this is terrible, ladies and gentlemen. All right, y'all, I got to get out of here and get the bag. I've talked longer than I planned to. Um, everybody have a good day. Know it's love, man, and spread peace, man, and positivity. You know what I mean? Y'all, get your one-on-one. -on -one, get your one-on-one. -on -one, get your one-on-one -on -one with your higher power. There's only one God. There's only one chance at life, you know? There's only one decision to make, one Savior, and one way to live. You know what I'm saying? So... We all need to make the right decision at least one time. You know, y'all stay prayed up. Y'all stay blessed up. Y'all stay meditated up and protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. And why would you want to be anybody else but you? Donald Trump, you should really, really love being you, man. You are looking invincible out here, man. You know what I'm saying? God got them angels just blocking them bullets like, wow, like not today. No, no. Boy, Donald Trump got them ninjas around here. Boy, you try to take a shot at Donald Trump, you want to, but them ninjas jump out that door, so a ding, 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 ding. No, boy. Listen, boy. If this boy listen, boy, you can't get the Trump, boy. You can't get the Trump. You cannot get the Trump, boy. God got him, boy. God got him, boy. God got him. Y'all wonder how Kanye survived that accident? God got, God had his back. You wonder how 50 Cent survived all them gunshots? God had his back. <laughs> you wonder why Trump still walking around here breathing? <laughs> God got his back. God got your back too, everybody. I say, much love.